So now this time we'll start from the guard once again. Our setup is going to be the same. I grab the wrist, I post, I sit up. Now maybe his arm's really strong, I can't get his arm out, or maybe he starts to, to hide his arm. But from here, my right hand which went over his shoulder, I'm now going to use this arm to go over his head and inside of his neck. So when I come across, my left hand, I'm going to grab my hand. So here's my grip. And I'm going to be bringing the blade of my forearm up toward his neck. So my arm comes in, I bring the other arm inside, I close my guard, and now from here I stretch with the legs, and then I'm going to just squeeze with the arms up. Now, once you have the choke correct and you've done it a few times, you don't have to make your partner tap. Just practice getting into the right position. So from here, I reach for the wrist, I sit up, I can't really attack his arm. If I did not do this move right, it's going to be difficult to go to the next move. But since I'm sitting on my, my butt, since I move my, my hips back, I'm able to come around. I'm sitting up right now. I'm not trying to maintain my balance. I can get a good grip, back to my guard, and then I can squeeze to put pressure on the neck. If I did it wrong, where I didn't sit up, now I'm trying to get his neck. My arm's not long enough. I'm going to have a really hard time from this position. So when we move our hips back, even if I can't get this arm, now I'm sitting up. Now I have the opportunity to set up my position to work for the choke. All right, guys. So let's practice the guillotine choke from the guard.